Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. There is no duty we so much underrate as the duty of being happy. By being happy we sow anonymous benefits upon the world. We are all travelers in the wilderness of this world, and the best we can find in our travels is an honest friend. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. So long as we love we serve, so long as we are loved by others, I would almost say that we are indispensable and no man is useless while he has a friend. Quiet minds cannot be perplexed or frightened, but go on in fortune or misfortune at their own private pace, like a clock during a thunderstorm. In each of us, two natures are at war the good and the evil. All our lives the fight goes on between them, and one of them must conquer. But in our own hands lies the power to choose what we want most to be we are. To know what you prefer, instead of humbly saying amen to what the world tells you you ought to prefer, is to have kept your soul alive. I learned to recognize the thorough and primitive duality of man. I saw that, of the two natures that contended in the field of my consciousness, even if I could rightly be said to be either, it was only because I was radically both. With every day, and from both sides of my intelligence, the moral and the intellectual, I thus drew steadily nearer to the truth, by whose partial discovery I have been doomed to such a dreadful shipwreck. That man is not truly one, but truly two. There are two things, that man should never weary of, goodness and humility. We get none too much of them in this rough world among cold, proud people. The best things are nearest, Breath in your nostrils, light in your eyes, flowers at your feet, duties at your hand, the path of God just before you. Then do not grasp at the stars, but do life's plain common work as it comes certain that daily duties and daily bread are the sweetest things of life. Everyone, at some time or another, sits down to a banquet of consequences. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest yo-ho-ho, -ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil had done for the rest yo-ho-ho, -ho, and a bottle of rum. I sat in the sun on a bench, the animal within me licking the chops of memory, the spiritual sight a little drowsed, promising subsequent penitence, but not yet moved to begin.